Humpity peeps. Good afternoon. Um, well, it's almost afternoon. But um, welcome back to our kitchen. We're going to <laughs> we're gonna be treated today. Jesse's gonna cook his really good uh, stefal. What is it, stefal? White meat. So that's chicken and what? And some pork ribs. Okay. And I'll I'll have the, the ingredients and the recipes, but I'll type it up and include it. Okay. Here we go. It'll be fun. So there, he started off with oh, with two packages two of ribs. How many pounds each? Um, a pound each, a pound and a half. So okay. three pounds of three, three pounds of ribs. Yeah. And then a whole chicken. Yeah, because he's cooking for a lot of people today. Well, not a lot of people, but just the family that might be coming around. Well, yeah. Wyatt and his dad and the family and yeah, they usually come around Sundays. Yeah. Cook something. So he's good to have for the next day. So he's gonna cut it up, peeps. And why are you using a whole chicken? Uh, they say it brings out a flavor when you cook it all up with the bones and stuff. But um, I usually go to the butcher. It doesn't have them do it for me, but it's just in the freezer. Uh -huh. so I just use it when we have it. I don't know how to cut chicken that well, but I can cut it. At the end, it's alright. The other day is still. Um, Oh, no wonder I always like uh, get me the, pro the, the, you know, get me breasts and thighs and yeah. <laughs> put it together. Yeah. <laughs> or the drum mitts, I would ask for the bag. I just put it in half, it's easier that way. So, I don't know if there's any wrong or right way of cutting chicken up, but chopstick first. All right. And I took the thighs. You feeling for the joint? Yeah. Found the joint in the ribs. Yeah. So this is the process where you cut up the chicken. That's why they say it's finger looking good. Yeah. The wings. Yeah, and that's the one, you know, that's the wings I always like to look and check if there are hairs on it. There's no hair on this one. Yeah, it's feathery. The best part is the best. Sure he doesn't cut his hands. Oh good, so you're like Rachel Ray. Well she has a bowl, you have a trash bag, which is good. Oh yeah, you gotta throw all the parts of you all in you. Yeah. I mean you just want to keep tidy along the way. Yeah, these pieces look big, but when I cook them I cook them a long time so it becomes tender and yeah, they just fall apart, so they just fall apart. Small pieces. Yeah, so that's why, you know, some of the Filipino cooks I would ask, how do you make your dough taste so, you know, legit? <laughs> <laughs> very, very chickeny. Uh, and, and if they're using parts, well, because some of them say, you know, they, they say they would use a whole chicken, but what they would, remember they would include is uh, the, uh, the gizzards yeah. and lizards and the yeah. innards. The innards? Yeah. So you can still get that rustic poultry flavor. Not gamey, but you really get that chicken. So you don't have to use Nors <laughs> seasoning. Cause yeah, Nors is a shortcut and it's really good. I mean, it's really uh, intense, the flavor. I'm the same way when I'm cutting. I can hear all that crackling and the bone snapping and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that you gotta be careful because you know when you have kids, and even yourself, you end up.
and for stuff out really you don't really need a lot of the skin because it doesn't taste good stuff out. Yeah, it doesn't look good in this stuff out. This skin's only good for it. But there are those that do like it. Well, maybe not because I don't know what's the fun pot or dish I've ever seen that has the fat I mean, you know, <laughs> that it was kind of like intentionally kept. So you always have a bowl of pot, bleach, you know, handy. Sorry, our, our extra dog food. Oh. That was just from today. <laughs> from last night to today. I always have a bowl on the side or whatever. I like to mix chicken and ribs together sometimes. This is has a unique flavor. Yeah, and I guess it's the, the adobo. Like you said, they're both white meat. Mm -hmm. The other one. And you know, because chicken's very light, and so you just need that extra mm, from the hat, from the pork, pork, because it has salt, or it's kind of, well, you know, with this one you have to add salt. <laughs> but you still get that hammy or porky, yeah. <laughs> like I said, a porky <laughs> flavor to it. But anyhow, the spirits taste like like pork chop, you know, because like the white meat of the pork chop. So, but yeah, I just love it when it's just so uh, tender. And then, you, and then you take the sulfas, I mean, the broth, <laughs> sulfas or rice with that. And then, you know, with um, Rock Hill and Daigo, Kimchi, you know, assortment. Well, I should have done as defrosted this, I thought it was good. Oh, but that's the best way to cut it. You know, some of you, I mean, most of you, or, well, let me just not say that. <laughs> like Jesse. Where, you know, you guys cut the ribs in the center of each bone, uh, you know, along the meat, the center between each bone. Uh, I like to cut mine, slice mine, one completely off the bone. You know, one side where it's the meat's all on one side, and then the other side just all bony. So, you know, yeah, more meat. Well, probably it's just the same. It's just that the, the bone's not in the middle. <laughs> And because I have kids, I like to chop mine small. But then it will ask to stack it in thirds. But it's done like this. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna rinse this, I guess, and then we get to the process. Peeps, I can't really tell you what size pot that is. It's pretty big. <laughs> And that's a lot of meat. Okay. Yeah. And that's my eggs from Rose this morning because the soup is in here. You know, that's part of it. We always have some dinner. Okay, now I'm ready to start. Can you make some garlic? 
onions. And this is where um, what I usually use, I use a full a full onion. Putting onions the right way or what way, but at the end of the day, onions and the green cut. I just cut them nice and big because our family don't really like onions. So we love the flavor. So what I do, I just cut a whole onion just like that. Just throw it in the pot. And the garlic mincer. And this we got it lost. Just, this one there I just... I use the spicer. Oh. I get a spicer. I don't mix garlic with it. I don't think a lot of garlic is. Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put it up on high? Up on high. Clean up at myself as I go. Some people like to just pop up the dishes. Yeah, that's clean. Yeah. Yeah, some, uh, ah, so I have some reserve oil here. Two, three, two, three. Gisa, saute. Now this is, I think this is my trick to do my stuff out, is cooking this really well and then cooking the, the chicken and pork in it for like 10 minutes without anything, just the garlic and onions. It gets that complete, it gets a little brown. Anytime you smell onions and garlic saute, you know both of you. Yeah, it, it just reminds you of home growing up. Whether you're in your bedroom, in the restroom, getting out of the shower, whatever it is, you're outside walking in, the whiff of this. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god, I can't wait to eat. Get out of this spot, buddy. So, what is my meat? There's a lot of meat. Seven or eight minutes. 
That's what they always say, Zalaka, the, you know, yeah. then when you hear the answer, Zalaka, the, the, uh, what did they say, off the bottom? <laughs> I forgot where they do. Yeah. We need to get the bottom up to the top and, yeah. you know, stirring it around, basically. I'm sure there are. Many of you out there just already preparing dinner at this time, at lunch, <laughs> or having a late lunch, because everybody is not, you know, ready to eat. Yeah, because normally what I do is I, when I'm making this, I cover it and I let it you know, steam up and sweat and all that. Then I'll come in and stir it one time because I want all the bottom to be all brown at once and then after that I'll flip it. But but, but mine's never tastes like his. His is always a winner, so <laughs> this is one of the things I'm not doing which I need to do. Because like you said, right, you're browning them. Just browning it with the oil, the garlic, and the uh, onions, babies, just having all soak up. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. Do all this again towards the end. But in the beginning, while it's cooking it up, there's nothing else but itself. I usually don't put salt at all onto the end because the flavor changes all the time. Every 10 minutes, the flavor changes because you either add more water. Show at the same time. Yeah, spa treatment. And then tomorrow, also, oh, you don't want to, you don't want the massage tomorrow. Like, I mean, honestly, it's really good. I mean, you, you should try it. You can take my place tomorrow. Yeah. Because he always carries both the chair or the table, so you can have either, you know, one of the at ease you can do that. But again, very professional. Whenever I do anything with bone, I always time it for an hour minimum. Okay, this is about two, maybe an hour, 20 minutes. So yeah, anything with bone, for me, I don't know. Yeah. Let me skip, bro. When Anna knows that Jessen cooked Stefan, she'll eat. So about it. You have my heart, you have my soul, you have my whole, you have my control. One break. Oh, you made your lemon? You know, this. The, yeah, well, because I, I would have gotten the guy was going to give me, I guess, a lemon this morning, but I, I realized that you had put your your picture away, so oh, I thought that you weren't doing it. Yeah, he when he but drinks water, soda, yeah, he can't just drink water as is. Yeah. It has to be cold and. Yeah, because what's the point of drinking water as is? It's the same thing. It goes down the same pipe. It's not like you put water down. Like oh, oh, I'm water. I get out of the way. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm water. You can get healthier. Same thing. Water is a Pepsi. Water is a diet. Water is a drink. Uh, yeah, it's called liquid. Yeah, I mean, what's the difference? Sugar. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'm drinking water and lemon. Lots of lemon. 
That looks good. Okay, I think we're just it's about... Still, it's still, you're still grounding it. Yeah. Honestly, I think I need a little bit more meat. Yeah. Because I like it, like, some parts burnt, almost, like, mm -hmm. in Because once I put the water in to, to make the broth, the broth already turns dark. Oh. Already had a flavor spilled into it already. Also, then you can tell if it's gonna brown because then you know just listening to that, yeah, you can hear yeah, all yeah. that. Yeah. It's still bubbling. That means there's still a lot of you know, liquids coming out from the meat, I guess. Yeah. yeah there's there's a lot more meat. Mm -hmm. Bay leaf, onion, garlic. Yeah, this is Jesse's defile. <laughs> I mean, not screaming, but it's like hurting. It's like, oh my goodness. The chicken and the pork is like, oh. We're just cooking up the storm in here for you guys. All right, see you guys uh, whenever Jess is ready. 30 minutes. Actually. Ooh, look at that, peeps. That, oh, it's cooking up. Look at the broth. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Broth is yeah, it's not, it's not greasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, I have 37 more minutes to go. So what I'm doing here is I just a little bit more water. We'll come back in 20 minutes and then do the final. <clears throat> where we make a sapa with the vinegar and soy sauce combination. I do that. I think it doesn't work. Okay, so I think in 20 minutes will leave us 30 more minutes after that to cook. I usually don't like cooking the uh, vinegar and soy sauce really uh, for a long time. Just right at the end, right at the um, right when the meat's all cooked already. You can tell the meat's cooked already. Look at the look at the ribs. See the bone already. What's going out, so it should be going, going on tender soon. It's gonna fall right off the yeah. wall. So, uh, like I said, I don't like UG. I usually don't put the vinegar and sauce to right at the end. The last 10 to 15 minutes. And that's a secret because his always tastes, you can taste each layer of the flavor. And when I do it, it's like, you know, it's like, it's, it's like, it's already all mixed in like soup. Okay, we'll come back in. Uh, and that's a that, you think that's a lot that's gonna be gone. That that doesn't last. Okay, see you guys there. How many minutes? 15 20 minutes. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. I think I think we're at the final stage of this delicious stuff. Oh, here it is. Now for the last 20 minutes, so now I do the bring down to uh, medium. Or medium low. Low medium. Yeah, it's ready. You don't want to mix it too hard, too much, because it's gonna fall apart. So, yeah. 
my trick is a one one of my tricks. My, my thing is one part one part vinegar, two part soy sauce. I don't like it very uh soy sauce vinegary, so I don't put that much. So for this, I guess I'm gonna do it for you. Now the smell is gonna. Now it smells like stuff. It's gonna be even more intense. So I have 15 minutes left to cook this. Then I, right at the last three minutes, I have one more thing that I do to put it all together. I add a, um, a little sugar. It's gonna bring the the broth. A little bit thicker and it coats all the meat and it has a little, it gets rid of the, the tangy soy sauce flavor that I don't really like. So then it balances, yeah. the sugar balances yeah. everything. Oh look at my chicken's falling apart too much. Oh, that's it's too good. tender. That's really good. Yeah. So let me just stick this in there. Right now so the soy sauce can cover the meat in a little bit. Yeah, it's really fun enough to Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna cook this for 10 minutes on low. Just to see if that focus. Actually, this is when I can actually taste it. Uh, taste it to see if I need salt, which I'm almost sure I don't. Nah, no, I don't. The, the broth is really strong. So that sugar gets strong. Bring it right back. I know the broth is strong, the broth is salty, it's thick. Oh, so the sugar is going to balance it. Yeah. 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 This much I think I can put two tablespoons of sugar in it. Right? Did you say you're going to put it on this low? Oh, mm -hmm. And what's our minute? Yeah, 16 minutes. So we have the last three minutes, just want to put the sugar in it straight off. There you go. Yeah, so we'll be back in 13 minutes. Good. Here we are. Got the last three minutes. Back down to the last three minutes. And then uh, sweeten it up with that sugar that I was talking about. I usually put two tablespoons. Uh, so I'll just put one of this. But not like four or anything. It's not gonna be like sugar sweets. It's gonna coat that. So what, and what kind of sugar are we using? Just the regular... Granulated? Sugar. Yeah, granulated. Okay. Powdered sugar, please. Yeah. Don't use powdered sugar. <laughs> because any, anyone like is, me... This is good. I've done the powdered sugar because I didn't know. <laughs> there you go. That should be just perfect. And I'm just going to cook this down for the last three minutes. So I'm going to really... That, that. Well, I'm just a little... A little... Sweeter. Now if I just add a, a hot pepper, look at this, this is how tender it is. Oh bowl. yeah, oh there's a bowl. Yeah, I, I, I love tender stuff, but I don't like it too tender. I think it's a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like it like that. Yeah. Especially if your teeth are sensitive. Yeah. What's that stuff? Yeah, we're basically done. This is it. The last uh, 120 seconds left and it's done. So uh, we'll get you this when we're ready. See? All right, peeps. Thank you very much. This is my stuff. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to. Nope, I'm done. Okay. All right, peeps. We'll see you when it's time to test our.